Hey there, I'm Chris Ponick, Certified Public Accountant, Certified Coach, and the host of the Mastering Your Small Business Finances podcast. And I want to welcome you to this new series that I'm doing on this podcast. My intention is to drop one of these additional episodes every Monday while I continue to provide you with the regular Mastering Your Small Business Finances podcast episodes, which will continue to help you take control of and understand your business finances with topics that ultimately impact your bottom line. I have many business owners, accountants, and other high-stress professionals who listen to this podcast, and I want to get more help out there for individuals like you when it comes to mastering your mindset. I'll be taking a few moments each week to touch on topics that many high-stress professionals are dealing with and provide solutions to help you increase your overall well-being. Because I know your time is valuable, just like the Mastering Your Small Business Finances podcast, my goal is to keep these episodes short and straight to the point, but full of useful information to help you succeed in not only your professional life, but your personal life as well. Whether you're making a plan, trying to manage your time, or simply honoring what you want in your life, saying no often seems as if it's hard to do. But what if you're able to start saying no to others and it was easy? If something doesn't work with what you originally wanted in your life, it's okay to say no. And you can actually say no in a graceful way that is not only beneficial for yourself, but also for the person that you're saying no to. Ready to start learning how to make saying no easy? Let's dive in. How often do you find yourself saying yes to something that you later feel resentful for or wish that you would have stuck to your original thoughts about saying no. Far too often, this is something that my clients and I work on so that they can follow through with more of what they actually want in their lives. When you create a plan and honor your main goals, you'll find it's much easier to achieve what you want in your life. You'll be able to fulfill your purpose and live your life with more joy. When someone asks you to do something for them, and it doesn't work for your schedule, you can say no. I want you to know that you do have this option. You don't even have to explain yourself or make excuses for why you're saying no. And the biggest win whenever you say no to something that you truly don't want to do is that you're being truthful to yourself. So often when people say yes to something that they don't want to do, or they're people-pleasing, it's actually causing them to be untruthful or they're lying to themselves and others. Whenever you can say no to someone, you're always saying yes to something that you want in your life. And the opposite is also true. When you say yes to someone else, you're actually saying no to something in your life. It's okay if you say no to others, even if they get upset. It's okay for you to stop people-pleasing others so that you have more time to do the things that you want to do or spend time with people you want to spend time with. When you can make a decision to say no to others, you'll see many more results in your life. You'll be able to stick to your original plans and your dreams. You'll create momentum, you'll see results, and most of all, you'll learn to honor your true self. What would it be like if you stopped dropping everything that you were working on because you couldn't say no to someone? How much integrity and respect would you be creating for yourself? If you'd like to continue listening to the rest of this podcast, I invite you to sign up for my free private podcast, where I do a deeper dive into this topic on the Mastering Your Mindset Moments podcast for high-stress professionals. When you're busy working in a high-stress profession, it's often hard to accomplish what you truly want in your life. This private podcast offers solutions that you can immediately apply to your life so that you can not only achieve your goals, but increase your sense of purpose, satisfaction, and lead a more fulfilling and enjoyable life. You can sign up at financialadventure.com slash private to hear about the solutions that I provide on this topic. I'll post links to this and other valuable resources for business owners, accountants, and other high-stress professionals 
where you're listening to this podcast.